Hi everyone, today I want to show you, I, I think this will be a two-part um, follow-along video and the first part will be about creating your own asset library. Most of you will probably know how to do it, but um, I'm just sharing my process. So um, I'm not talking about uh, vegetation, trees, rocks, things like that, because True Terrain and its partners have already uh, provided us with lots of great stuff. I'm talking about buildings and other assets and um, one of the nicest assets you can find out there, at least in my opinion, is from Kitbash 3D. And if we're heading over to Kitbash 3D's homepage, you can see all their kits in here and there are two great news. The first one is there is a spring sale where for two weeks almost where you can get um, from a choice of kids 50 40 or 30 percent off but the greatest thing is that they are providing us with a free kit i have already downloaded it you just need a free re registration with the web page and you can download it for blender or fbx obj or uh, any other um, common 3d software so i want to use that free kit to show you how i'm doing my asset library setup okay so let's head over to blender and i have already downloaded and decompressed the file it's over three gig i think almost four gig and instead of opening the blend file it comes with i have all my settings in my start file already so what we're going to do is we're going to append the objects um, within this kit. So we have it downloaded as here, Kit Neo City. So let's go into the plant file, go to object, and I'm selecting all files that start with KB3D. Append. Won't take long because this is a mini kit but as you have seen the blend file is about 300 megabytes but the remaining three gigs are the textures and the textures from the skies are just brilliant so that's what we're getting so a couple of skyscrapers smaller buildings a sort of kiosk with all these things in there um, street stand and street lamps so let's take a look on how this looks in textured mode this will take a bit of time because the textures as i said are really great and also quite heavy but just to show you what we're getting so here is the rendered image or actually the, the textured objects as you can see very detailed you can really zoom in and you have all those nice details like AC controls and things like that so that's what it looks like and as you can see those objects are you know separate from each other and you can probably get a lot of these assets like I, I think even this one I mean take a look at the details just on this thing and yeah so a couple of things are separate and you could use them individually of course but that's not what we're going to do. We're doing the opposite. So, how to set up an asset library. So let's go back to viewport shading and go to our top view with the num key seven. So before we do anything else, let's head over to our asset browser, make this a little bit bigger. We can delete those because they don't work anyhow. I'm going to show you how to do that in a minute. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is those um, different files and assets and objects, call it what you want, are all connected to their individual 
group point and we need to um, deconnect them so I'm hitting A and then we're going to object parent clear and keep transformation now we have all individual assets available and now I'm going into my filter box and putting underscore group in here and I'm selecting all of those and delete them now we don't have those you know crosshairs in our scene anymore we can clear the filter and what I'm doing now is I'm to, um, switching on x-ray and I'm clicking on one of these assets holding the shift key selecting everything so all the objects within one asset are selected and then you could go to object and join or just remember control and J so and now it's one and we're repeating this control J control J this one is one already just click on one it doesn't matter which let's make sure we have everything control J control J let's zoom in control J lots of individual objects in the small one control J and control J now we have those assets one two three four five six seven eight nine as objects we can switch off x-ray and now these things are just one object okay now we could before we transform them into assets let's take a look at yeah all these individual assets and what we can see is that they have all a rotation of minus 90 and we don't want that so hit a and then con control and a and apply rotation and scale so we have rotation is set to zero scale is set to one and we have proper scaling which seems to be real world dimensions like this skyscraper is 201 meters high which makes absolutely sense and now we're just hitting a again set and going into our uh, collection manager and right click mark as asset now nine data blocks are now assets and we should see them popping up um, in our asset library view port very very soon okay I'm just gonna take some time and there they are and we have them in and we've got them in a textured view as well so that's fine so let's go back to regular now as I said before the files are only 200 the meshes are only 250 megabytes or something but the the heavy weight lies with the textures so let's bring the textures in as well um, so we can use them on our own models or in different scenes so how to do that I'm going to blend the file and go to materials and select any material that starts with KB3D and as you can see there is quite a lot in there so shift click select all right click mark as asset and you can see that those materials are being are, sh are being shown as, as materials which is quite nice 
and they're properly named, air conditions, asphalt, hexagon, banner, cloth, brass, all these things. So let's give Blender some time to get all the previews updated. So as you can see, all the material previews have been updated. It took a while, a couple of minutes, and we have everything set up. So what we're going to do is save this file, save as, and we're putting it into a place where we're really... So I have prepared a folder called Assets. I'm going to put that into a separate folder. I call it KB3D Neo city and save it in here as neo city underscore asset library and save as again it takes a little bit of time and but here it is now, what we can do now, or at least try, is to put two separate catalogs in here. The first one we're going to call Buildings, and the other one we're going to call Mats for Materials. And then I'm going to put all my buildings into Buildings, and all my materials into materials. I'm going to click on this Save Asset Catalogs and save the file again. However, this doesn't always work. I don't know why. Sometimes I just need to open it up again and do the catalog thing again and we're going to check if this is the case. So let's close this file and I'm opening up my standard uh, start file and let's have a plane in here. You don't need it but I just for demonstration sakes. So we've got this plane in here, apply the scale. Is it important? Not right now. I still like to do it. And then we go into our asset library and nothing is here. So what we need to do is go to our preferences, file paths. That's from my previous and we need to add this Path. So we're going to where we put it in our assets, Neo City. That's our path. And how the name will be KB3D Neo Cities. Save the preferences, close, and then we can open this up. And as I'm, as I was a afraid it's the, it didn't take the categories well we can do it again however right now we can just put our assets where we want them we can rotate them we can put the proper camera angle on them like so and put this huge thing in the back so like so well it is huge so take a look if it has taken over the materials as well And it has, so if we play with our light, there we go. And the great thing now is we've got this plane in here. 
and it is without texture so why not use one of the materials we just imported so what could be let's paint it uh, I think I have seen some street tiling galvanized no 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 oxidized metal 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 paint plastic rubber screen street and just drop it in here and then you can probably exactly go in here and put some scale on it as well yeah we'll we'll have a look at that later but it's possible to do so let's make it like this okay that's how you prepare a kitbash 3d asset kit no kit for blender asset library hope some some of you find this useful and um definitely grab the free kit it's great and check out all the other stuff um, and use the spring sale and see you in the next video where we're actually going to use true terrain make a landscape and use some of the buildings we just um, got into our asset library okay see you then bye